Hello and good day everyone. Today I would like to share you another tips on Scopus on how to merge account if you have duplication of uh, author's account. So for example, um, these are my name, Intan Zaura Madarus. This is the normal formats uh, that I use, usually use for my Scopus account. But however, you can see here in my account, there are other formats of names. All right, for example, Darus, uh, Intan Mat, and all these. Okay, so how does this happen? Because sometimes your author, your co-authors or your students, they publish papers and they write the names, your names in a different format. Especially for us in Asia, our name is very long, so the format can be quite different. Okay, so when this happens, you need to find out and then you need to merge your account. Otherwise, your document will be all over the place. You will have several Scopus accounts, so you need to merge all of them. So in my case, I don't have any issues anymore because I have merged all my documents. All right. So in order for you to do that, okay, how to merge this account? In order for you do, to do that, you have to log in to Scopus. So you have to log in under your own, for example, your own uh, account, or you can log in under your institution. So in this case, I can use my own institution in University Technology Malaysia. Okay, and you go to your uh, author, your your names. Okay, your account author's details here. Right. So in my case, I don't have any issue because if I click here, view potential author matches. Okay. If I click there, it will write here zero potential author match because I don't have any more other different account because I've merged all of them. But today I realized one of my co-author have this problem. So he actually actually created two different accounts under his name. So let's have a look at this paper. This is the newly published papers uh, in Journal of Ambient Intelligence Humanite Computing uh, in 2020. So I realized when I look at this paper just now, I realized that this is not the correct name of my co-author, okay? Muhammad Samin P here. So if I click this name, it will show that this uh, person, Muhammad Samin Pakarudin, he's actually a professor in UTM. So very unlikely that he have only four documents, isn't it? Which one H index. So this is not, not like his normal main account. So what I do is I just quickly go to view potential auto matches. All right. So yeah, for merging account, you can either do it for your own account or you can also do it for your friend's account. Okay, but of course you have to use uh you you have to use it with a full ethics uh, to do this right okay so first on and for all you see here this is his actual account this is the main uh main account for pakarudin Muhammad samin so i just click here request to merge author and then i can just click whichever author so sometimes there are several Option. So in this case, it's only one account that is actually uh, detected to be uh, the same as this one. So I can just click request to merge. And it will ask you to set the preferred name, merge profile and add or remove documents and so on and so forth. So yeah, click proceed to make changes. And then you can choose the name that you prefer. So I'm going to choose the name that he used uh, in the beginning in his main account. All right. It, not this one. I think it's this one. Oh yeah, it's this one. It's okay. The name you can change later. Alright. So it will ask you, are you making changes for, uh, for your own or not? So no, I'm going to say no. I'm submitting requests on behalf of someone else. Okay. All right, then we'll ask you to merge the documents. So I know that there are new four documents on the new account. These are all his papers. And then I can either search the missing document, but because I do not know other missing document because this is not my account, so I'm not going to do it. Okay, and then I'm just going to create yes. Then he asks you to review the affiliation. University Technology Measure is the correct affiliation. Then I'm going to confirm and submit. Oops, it's not submitting. Alright, 
so now it's already confirmed so you can check again to confirm all right there are two profile that will be merged one with four documents the other one with 37 documents and this is the name and this is the affiliation so then i can click submit Okay, done. All right, so it says here, thank you, you have received your, we have received your request. Email will be sent shortly to your account to say that the submission, uh, the request have been done. Okay. All right, and then you ask, it will say that you have submitted your request uh, successfully. Okay, why is this important? So it is very important for you to merge your account so that all your document will be under one account and your citation and your H index will be calculated correctly. So you can either do it for yourself or you can do it for your co-author, of course, with his permission. So uh, you can do it uh, to merge this. So please check regularly if your account is having duplication. But because by doing this, uh, you will have your Scopus um, account will be the maximum numbers of document that is actually, uh, actually correct under your a Scopus account. That'll be all for today. Thank you.